This is quite a neat little trick I found on the Microbit uh, recently. I'm using PXT but you can do this in Blocky. I've created a, uh, a simple um, accelerometer reader here and as you can see if I move the simulator along we get the simulated output here. Um, if I now plug in a Microbit, I've already compiled this code onto the Microbit and we take a look at the ports that we're using. We're on port 5 here. Nothing's happened here but if I change the port it does seem a little bit flaky and you might need to do this a, a few times. So I'll, I'll change to COM6, press OK and unplug and replug the port in. Now I might need to do this more than once. Nothing's happened this time. We'll just keep going through till we find where it's where it's hiding. Do that again. I'm going to start from the top. Uh, the properties. Let's try. Let's try seven. Typical. Still, oh, there we go. It's picked it up this time on COM7. So that there is the simulated data, and this here is the live data. And I can move this around, and as you'll see, it's uh, it's making a change. Now that might be something you've seen before, but what I I actually really like about this is you can stream it to the to the cloud. So if I click here and start my streaming to the cloud, and open up that stream you'll get some instructions and there's a website address just here so I'm going to copy this website address I'm going to go to Excel and I've got Power Query installed now you can do this without Power Query if you've got Office 2016 but I'm on 2013 I've got Power Query installed and I've put it on the microbits and bobs.co.uk website for you can download it um, Power Query from web just like an old-fashioned web query from back in the day, paste it in, here's the data, so we can load the data into Excel, comes up down the side, you can see down here, there's the data, so I'm going to highlight the data, just going to create a simple line graph, just for demonstration purposes, so here's my, my line graph. I'm going to give the thing a bit of a shake, a bit of a wiggle, so you can see this is live. Refresh the data. It refreshes automatically every minute, I understand. And there's our new data. I'll just leave it static for a little minute. Refresh it again. And there we go. So you can stream the data straight into Excel. The other thing I like about it is if we look at the actual stream itself we also stop it from streaming we also get the opportunity to actually download the file as a csv file so you can download the file that it's that it's streamed to at that point which i think is again is a neat idea and you can export that um, into excel so thanks for listening thanks for looking give it a try <laughs>